Hello, welcome or welcome back. It's your woman Angela K.O.D. Today we are making meat pie. Come with me and let's make this delicious freaky meat pie. But if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and be part of this great family. And for my subscribers, Team Angela K.O.D. and everyone watching my videos, thank you so much for your love and support. I really appreciate you guys always coming along. Thank you. Come with me and let's bake this delicious together. Come. For ingredients for making our meat pie, we'll be needing our minced meat. This is our all-purpose seasoning, garlic, garden peas, potatoes, black pepper, carrots, chopped onions, and salt to taste. And other ingredients, self-raisin flour, butter, margarine, sugar, salt, and nutmeg, chickpeas powder, we start by adding the mince meat to the pan. Since there is a lot of fat in this meat, I'm not going to add any oil to the meat. Guys, check out our mince meat is cooking really good. Just look at all the oils here. So that's this. Uh, this is the reason why I didn't add any oil because the meat already has a lot of fat in it so it's doing the cooking our minced meat is uh, cooking so go ahead and add the chopped onions this meat pie is not the normal meat pie you know it's another level with a twist of veggies and potatoes guys I'll go ahead and add my all pepper seasoning and stir everything in We'll go ahead and add our garlic and the chopped carrots, guys. Go ahead and stir everything in. Check out the colors, guys. If you never see it, will amaze you. We'll go ahead and add the potatoes. Our potatoes are partially cooked, guys. It's not fresh potatoes. Let's stir everything in. Let's go ahead and season it with a pinch of black pepper. Stir everything in. to add a few salt. Let's go ahead and taste for salt. It's less salt because I haven't added any oil salt. But because I added the oil for season, so I'll go ahead and add some salt. We'll go ahead and I add the chickpeas powder to the water and dilute it and add it to our filling. I'm doing this because I want my filling to burn together. I'll go ahead and add water and we'll mix everything together. So this is for the burning of the of our filling, guys. You can also use flour or corn flour or corn starch, anything that you have. But for the healthiest way. I am using chickpeas powder. So guys, as you can see, our filling is really burnt together. So I'll go ahead and add my garden peas. 
I really want this garden piece to be green in this frill and that's why I'm adding it at the end. So it's ready. I'm going to pick up the fire. I don't want to overcook my veggies and I don't want to cook my garden piece, guys. So our filling is ready. But what I will do, I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this for it to cool down. You really need to let this filling cool down. If you don't let the filling cool down, after you bake your pie, you see that the inside is white. So it's always important to let your filling cool down before filling into your pie. So we'll go ahead and transfer it to a bowl and leave it to cool down, guys. I'll go ahead and mix all the dry ingredients together. Sugar, salt, and our nutmeg. And then I'll mix all the dry ingredients together. Now we'll go ahead and add our butter. Guys, since it's always the perfect crust, you really need your butter to be cold. So I'll add the butter first because the butter is a little bit hard. After flicking the butter, then I'll add my margarine. With my two hands. If you have a pastry cutter, you can, but I always prefer to use my fingertips, guys. We really need to raise it. We want it to incorporate in this pastry. Guys, as you can see, the sun makes sure that we are going for, we have almost achieved it. So I'll go ahead and add my butter. It's also cold. You really need to have it cold to get the texture that you want. You have to rub it in between your palm to get the sunny texture and air also incorporating it guys rubbing it rubbing metal that is what we are using guys check out how our pastry is it's really really sandy just the way we want it we have air incorporating in it and I forgot to mention, I'm using blended onion, but I forgot to mention. So I'm, I'll go ahead and add it to the pastry. When you add blended onions to your pastry for your pies, it brings us a lot of sweet, sweetness. It makes your meat pie really sweet and delicious. And it brings a lot of flavors also. So this meat pie is for one of my subscribers. She's celebrating her son's birthday and she really needs small chops for the birthday. So this is really a special request from one of my subscribers, guys. So we are using cold water for this process. I'll go ahead and make a roll in the center and add the water. With your fingertips, mix it really, really casual. Mold it, and then our pastries are ready. So, guys, we are going to leave this pastry to rest for one hour, and then they will just rest and relax, and they will come and roll it and make our pies. We'll sprinkle it with some flour, guys, and then check out how soft our pastry is. And this is the filling we made. It's really cold, guys, just the way we want it. Then we'll roll our pie.
this one you have to hold it and let it rest and then we'll go ahead and put our filling on it for this uh, pies are requested by a subscriber and it's for a party and normally when it's for party i always make it very small but sometimes on a normal meat bag it's really big So guys, if you cannot use your fingertips as I'm doing, you can use the old method by using your fork. It's also always. You go ahead and arrange it on a tray. Now it's ready to go into the oven. I'll go ahead and baste it with coffee mug or evaporated mug. You can also use egg white or egg wash, but I prefer always prefer to use evaporated mug. I like the shining as it brings to your pie, guys. Ready to go into the oven, guys. I'm done with the mini pie, so I'm going to make some sausage rolls. With short pastry, you can make anything out of it, guys. With your sausage roll, you really need to roll it very flat because you are going to roll it. Perfect, just the way I want it. A little bit of the middle. Okay, good. So it's ready. So I'll go ahead and fill it and then roll it on. Then we'll go ahead and baste the bottom with some egg, with some evaporated milk. Then we'll cut it. So guys, our rolls are also ready, so we'll go ahead and make it nice. And 
and then baste it with some evaporated milk ready to go into the oven guys guys our meat pie is ready let's open one and see guys look wow just have a look look very very healthy and delicious Guys, our rolls are also ready. Guys, our delicious meat pies are ready and also some rolls. Thank you so much for coming with me to make these delicious healthy pies. But if you are new to this channel, please subscribe and be part of this great family. And for my subscribers, Team Angela KOD and everyone watching my videos, Thank you so much for your love and support. I really appreciate you guys always coming along. Thank you. By the way, come with me to go and give this pies to the subscribers. Come, let's go. Thank you. Bye. Guys, we are here. So let's go and give it to them. Thank you very much.